I want you guys to realize that if God is saying that we're perfect, if God sent his only son who didn't fail and he made you righteous forever, right? Would it be smart to follow him or follow our thoughts? We have to make a choice. And I pray today, if you're watching this, please make that choice that, hey, I'm not going to follow my thoughts anymore, which are only evil and constantly changing and are deceitful above all things. I'm going to follow the word of God that never changes it and it's living, right? It's the living word of God. The Bible is God, guys. John chapter one, verse one. In the beginning was the word of God. The word was with God. The word was God. So what it's saying is when you accept these words exactly as it is, you're accepting God. That's what it means to accept. I pray that, you know, truly we fight the thoughts of condemnation, the thoughts that Satan plants inside of us, like he did Judas Iscariot, right? John 13, verse 2. He wants us to realize that, you know, what does the word of God say versus what do our thoughts say? And I pray that in front of that, please choose the word of God every single time. No matter how right your thoughts feel, no matter how right your thoughts look, please throw that away and accept the word of God above your thoughts.